Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. Today I wanted to show quickly how to do an animation in Theorender. So what you do is you set your scenes up in SketchUp. And I'm using SketchUp Pro 2018 and uh, Theorender 2.0. So you set your scenes up. So I, I went ahead and I had more scenes and I deleted some. I'm just going to go with these two scenes just to do a quick animation. So the animation will be just like that. It'll just zoom in and out. Um, so what you do is you go ahead and click your little render icon there. And over in the settings panel, this, this little icon that looks like it, it's a running, a person running, and you hover over it, 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 it says animation. Um, I'd, I'd recommend first just, just see what the selected um, the selected choices are, are going to give you you know uh, like plug in um, okay that's already set but 24 frames I recommend 24 frames for 1.55 I always use 24 frames um, I render frames all um, lighting precision 100% um, you may want to adjust that depending on how your background is going to look or how things are going to look but once you have everything there and you have your scene set up, you just go ahead and you just simply click render animation. And it's going to want to know where to save these images because it's going to give you a bunch of PNG images. And what you do, or what I do, those images and I put them in Movie Maker and then that's how I make my animation. So I have animation here, Colonial Home Render, save. And what it's going to do is just going to go, it's going through SketchUp, checking the scenes, seeing what scenes are available in SketchUp, and it's going to animate those scenes. See, so it's collecting information here, just like a regular rendering. Uh, it's collecting everything it needs to render and everything it needs to animate. And depending on the size of your, your uh, model, and how many scenes you're rendering, that kind of dictates how long it's going to take, um, even the process of just collecting the information. All right, so it looks like we're going here. So it'll, so what it'll do, it starts, it started back on, I think it was scene six, and it's just going to drag itself in until it's got everything, and it's all, it's all going to save. He, oh, uh, not this file. Where did I put it? SketchUp animation. It'll all save here. All right, let's uh, see how long this takes. All right, so we have it finished at three hours and four minutes and eight seconds. And this is at, so up here, you have samples per pixel limit. I set it to 10. It's usually set at 512. The higher you set it, the better quality you'll get. But I just wanted to show a quick way of how to do an animation. Um, and you can set your time limit to whatever you want. Um, it's in minutes. So if you want an hour, set it to 60 minutes. But so, but let's see, we had our, we saved our file here. So here are all the PNG files saved from the first scene to the last scene. And we'll just go ahead and put this in. Windows Movie Maker and get an animation going. 